Hey guys, this is the level 3 tutorial. I'm gonna recycle the level 2 scene for this one. I've just added a couple of collision objects. I changed the thickness outer and inner parameter to 0.001 for both of them. I have a slightly longer test animation. You'll find all the information needed in the level 2 tutorial. I start by changing some parameters for the plane object. Collisions quality to 25. Distance to 0.03. End of simulation matching the animation length. Then I make some adjustments on the driver bones. First I deactivate the stretch to modifier. I'll need to snap with the active vertex really soon. I go to edit mode. My mirror X option is on. Let's move the driver bone on its Y axis like that. Then select the plane object and go in edit mode. Select these two points in that order and move them while pressing control to snap them to the tip of the driver bone. Let's add another vertex with Ctrl R on both sides. Move this new vertex in the X axis to have a triangle. Make a face from these triangles. As we have changed the mechanism, we need to adjust the weight of some vertices. Let's reactivate the stretch to modifiers. We can bake a new simulation to test those modifications. It's good enough for me. We are ready for phase 2. Select the body and in edit mode. Select the breast area. Then Shift D to duplicate the selection and Alt P to separate it. Go to Object Mode and select the new object. Go to Edit Mode. Let's try to have the topology as regular as possible. After fixing the top corners, erase those vertices and grid fill the area to have nice quads everywhere. Adjust those new quads a bit. Then make the body visible again. Change the snapping options to face. Then press G while pressing Ctrl and press Enter. Snapping done. Back in object mode. Let's have more visibility by choosing random colors. Blue again. I duplicate the new object to have swiftly a new color. Hide the pink one. Delete the blue one. Unhide the pink one. Now add a shrink warp modifier. Target the body. Set the snapping mode to inside. Hide the subsurface modifier. Add a small offset. Then we can apply the modifier. Let's go in edit mode to close the mesh. Select the outer ring and extrude it a bit on the global Y axis. Press Shift E then 1 to crease the edges. Select the next ring and do the same. Crease the corners as well. Then select again the outer edge and grid fill it like that. Create a new vertex group. I name mine, shape group. Assign the value of 1 to all the edges we have creased. Time to add the cloth modifier. I let the cloth modifier under the subsurface because I want the precision of the extra amount of faces, but it's up to you to place it above. We have a bunch of values to change. Try to mimic mines.
and then let's bake a test animation. It's ugly. That's because I forgot to tick a tiny option. So. Activate the dynamic mesh option in the shape section. And run a second test where all will be perfect. Almost. At this point I decide to add a corrective smooth modifier. I check only smooth and choose my shape group as vertex group. Of course you need to invert it. The deformations are much better like that. Let's take care of the torso now. First I erase the vertex groups linked to the breast's bones. And give a value of 1 for all the vertices in the chest group. Then I create a new group for the breast deformation. And assign a value of 1 for all the vertices of that region. To end this rig, Add the surface deform modifier to the torso and place it above the subsurface. Target the breast object and choose the breast deform vertex group. Don't forget to click on bind. You're done. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to like and subscribe. You can download the mesh for free with the link in description. The final scene is available for all patrons. Have a nice day guys.